Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to color grade this video right here. So this video was shot in a flat picture style using a Lumix GH5. I shot it in 10 bit 422. The first thing that I normally do is to make sure that the exposure is right because I was filming in a flat picture style. And it's kind of uh, difficult to tell when you are exposed or not. So that is the first thing that I usually do in color grading, all right, in my process for color grading. So I'm going to bring the waveform, which helps us to check our image for exposure, right? And uh, one cool trick that I normally use is to key out the skin and check the graph on the waveform. So I will zoom on the clip, pick the masking tool, and key out the skin area. You can see on the waveform that uh, it is over, it is just over 40 IRIE. According to the waveform, skin tone should lie between 40 IRIE and 60 IRIE. So I'm going to make sure um, I come to the basic correction tab and push the exposure uh, maybe to something like uh, 0 0.6. Then I'm going to delete the mask and change the zoom back to fit. And uh, since this was a night shoot, I'll make sure that I also get the blacks correct. So according to the waveform, uh, the blacks must lie between 0 and 20 IRE. So I'm going to grab uh, the blacks slider and bring it to somewhere around uh, negative uh, 10. This is where the blacks are hitting the zero according to the waveform. So anytime that I'm adjusting something, I'm also looking at the waveform itself. Then I'm going to increase the white just a bit since it was a night shoot and reduce the shadows a bit as well, uh, maybe to somewhere here just to create a little bit of contrast. The next step is to convert the log profile, the flat profile, into something that looks a little bit standard, you know, like the way you would see it in real life. Okay, so I'm going to add another instance of Lumetri color, then go to the creative section and I'm going to add a look. The one I'm going to use is in this folder and it is called Alexa Log C2 Rec 709, which will convert my flat picture profile to something that looks standard. I'm going to bring the intensity to 70. And before I add color grading, I have to make sure that uh, I have the correct white balance in my image. And since this was a night shoot, there isn't really much whites in the image. So I'm going to focus again on her skin color or on her skin tone. So I will go to the Lumetri scopes and bring the vector scope YUV. I'm going to take out the waveform. Then I'm going to key out the skin area again. So I'm going to zoom on the image, grab the masking tool, create a mask around the skin. You can see that our skin tone is slightly off towards the yellows. According to the vector scope YUV, the skin tone must lie along this line over here. So we can correct that by adjusting our white balance. So I will go to the basic correction again, this time in the white balance section, and I'm going to start with the tint slider. As I'm adjusting the tint slider, I'm also looking at the vector scope YUV. You can see how the graph is moving. So it appears that around six, uh, somewhere here, this is where the correct skin color is. And um, I don't even have to adjust the temperature because the line is already lining here. Then I'll delete the mask and change the zoom back to fit. Now we have the correct white balance and we can move on to color grading. Now, color grading is a creative process. So at this point, you need to give your video a certain mood or a certain look that support your story. And this is not something that you should figure out at this point. It is something that you should have figured out even before you went to shoot your video. You need to somehow have an idea of how your video should look after color grading. So at this point, you need to have some sort of a reference point or some sort of, you know, a creative way that you wanted your video to look uh, to look like after it's done. I have spoken a lot about this in my course, Color Grading Pro. So at this stage, I have uh, a reference for my color grading and um, I wanted to achieve something that looks like this picture. 
And there are many ways that I have discussed in my course of how you can achieve this kind of a look. But uh, for this video, I'll just show you the simplest way. So I'm gonna add another instance of Lumetri color and go straight to the HSL secondary. So what I'll do is to key out the skin. I want the skin to remain the same. So what I'll do is I'll select the add the set color eyedropper in the key section and select the skin color and I'll use this add uh, color and uh, select multiple portions of the skin like that. Like so. Make sure you select as much of the skin as you can. And to make sure that I see my selection better, I'll select uh, this color, uh, color gray box. So you can see it's only my skin that is appearing. And I can fine tune it with uh, these sliders here. So I just, I just want to make sure that the whole skin is selected. All right, this looks like it's a good spot. And then I'm going to select this picture icon that is here, just like this. And then I'm going to still continue to uh, finalize the picture selection. Just to make sure that I have much of the skin selected and making sure that it's not spilling to other stuff, just like that. And then I'm going to uncheck this button here, color gray, then go to denoise and make it 10 and blur, make it 10 to make sure that the colors blend nicely together with each other. Then I'm going to come to the correction section and I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting these uh, three wheels. And uh, in the shadows, I'm going to make sure that I bring it a little bit down. You can see it is just the image that is being the other parts of the image but the skins are not being affected that's what i wanted so now i can adjust everything around uh, her but for her skin so i'm just gonna bring the shadows a little bit down to create some contrast then i'm gonna bring the midtones a little bit up and then the highlights a little bit down as well all right for the look that i'm going i want to make sure that um uh, the temperature is very low, so I'm going to reduce the temperature all the way to where I feel like it. You see, even now, as I'm adjusting the temperature, you can see that uh, the skin is not being affected. It's only the background. So I'm going to bring the temperature to somewhere, maybe uh, negative 61. And then I'm going to bring the tint maybe to somewhere around, around maybe, let's say, negative 27, so somewhere there. And then I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit, maybe to 115. I want more vibrance, uh, maybe even there to 116.9. And then I'm going to go to the shadows. In the shadows, I want to add a bluish or a, what you call uh, a teal color. So I'm going to drag this wheel towards the teal direction. You can see I'm almost having the color that I want. And then in the midtones, I'm going to push it slightly to the orange direction because the midtones, that's where the skin color lies. So I, I want to make sure that the colors, the orange pop up. And then in the highlights, I'm going to make it a little bit towards the tint as well. All right, this looks good. And the other thing that I'm going to do now is to go to the curves. Then I'm going to look for luma versus saturation curve and i'm gonna add two nodes here and uh, create a curve like this as well as another curve like this this side and also come to saturation versus saturation i'm gonna add another curve here just like the one we have created before this is to make sure that regardless of what colors i have put on the image the blacks should still remain black i don't want the blacks to be affected once this is done, I'm going to add an adjustment layer on my footage to blend everything together properly. Okay. And I'm going to select that adjustment layer. And what I'll do is I'll go straight to 
the color wheels and match. And then in the shadow area, I'm gonna make sure I grab that center point and push it to the bluish direction. Just like that. The bluish direction. And then uh, maybe the orange towards the, the mid-tones, maybe towards the orangish direction. And then the other thing that I will do here, I can start to see that um, my skin tone is slightly becoming reddish. So what I'll do is I will uh, zoom on the skin, just like this, and you draw a mask, select the footage, then select the masking tool, and mask out the skin. I can see the skin is slightly shifting towards the red direction, towards the reddish direction. So what I'll do to correct this one, <clears throat> I'll not correct it via the basic correction. This time I'm gonna use curves to correct it. So I'm gonna go to curves, just like this, and then come to hue versus hue, select the eye drop and select on the skin. And then I can drag this center point here while it's looking at the graph. Uh, this is only affecting the skin. So once I know that uh, the graph is lying straight towards this line, that is where my skin tone is, then I'm gonna come and delete the mask and then uh, zoom out to fit. So you can see my color grading is almost complete and done. All right, the last thing that I'll do here is to go to the creative section. And on the faded film, I'm gonna increase it a little bit to let's say 15, or, so that we can bring that cinematic view. And then on the sharpness, I'm gonna make sure that I increase it maybe to somewhere like 35. And then on the vibrance, I'm gonna increase it to maybe 22. This is a music video, not a movie, so I want the colors to pop. All right, and then I can still see, uh, it still looks, it looks a little bit washed too much. So I'm gonna go to the basic correction and um, reduce the shadows a little bit so that it can pop just like this. I think this looks like a good spot and my color grading is done. You can see the before and the after. All right, guys, I hope you have learned something in this video. And if you want to learn more, I have a full course, like I said, Color Grading Pro Max, where I teach everything from the beginning to the end, starting from how to select your picture profile, you know, things that you need to do in order for you to achieve the color that you want and also going through the Lumetri color panel, you know, and showing you each, what each and every button does in Lumetri color. I've also included thousands of uh, loots for free in that course. It's an, a wonderful course. It's an amazing course. Make sure you do check it out. The link is just below the like button. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer. I'll be sure to answer your questions as soon as possible. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. This is it for me. Peace.